Welcome back to the show. I'm the Beer Adventure. And I'm Lunchbox. And after many requests, I'm finally doing Fat Tire. Fat Tire! Now, Fat Tire, this is what, the 5.2? This is their amber. This is what put New Belgium on the map. Comes in a pint. Yeah. Now, it started out out in Colorado, but they make it in North Carolina now. Well, that's too. right up your alley. It, you know what? What? Not just up the alley. This is literally not that far from where my dad grew and my mom grew up. Wow. Um, so, yeah. So, this is We're like, going to check it out. We're going to act like we've never had Fat Tire. I mean, I remember when I got Fat Tire when I went on the other side of the Mississippi River the first time because... We'd all heard about it. We could never get it. And I tried it. And I was like, hey, this is not bad. And I brought it back. And everybody was like, oh, yeah, I've had it. And I was like, when did you have it? They're like, when I went to Colorado. And I was like, well, I've never been to Colorado, but I got it in Texas. Well, last time I went to Nashville, I had a flat tire. I don't. It's flat tire. This is fat tire. It's bicycle. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people who have... I love that color. I do, too. I'm a big amber slash Irish red type yeah, guy. That if It pours a good head. Visually, that's like one of the best things it's you a, can do for me is that, that golden rich color. It's kind of red. And, and see, if you'll notice, I poured Lunchbox just a little more because I know this is actually a beer he likes. Oh, okay. You know, I always pour me a lot more of the IPAs than him just because. Oh, it's good. Okay, first you'll notice you'll smell lots of that, that malt, that kind of biscuity. Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's kind of got like a malty, it's biscuity smell. You know, you smell bread. Um, this is one of those beers that kind of opens up in your mouth a little bit, but it's mm. not too yeasty. No. Um. It's big without being too full. Right. Um, there's not that huge hop. Oh, there's no. There's hop, more no. malt and just kind of. But it's not a bomb. No, it's not a malt bomb. It's and it's it's not got too a good sweet. base. It's not too sweet. This is just like one of the great beers. Uh, this type of beer. It is a really great beer. This, this style of beer is what I call. The drinking beer. Yeah. Because if you're from where we're from, you got to learn sometimes when they say, do you want to go out to drink or do you want to go out to drink? Because I need to prepare myself. If we're drinking, I'm having a couple. If we're drinking, I need to call an Uber. But we had to I'm call a cab. Before. I'm passing out in the field. Oh, <laughs> see, this is field party beer. Um this, it, this is, I could see sitting on a tailgate in the middle of nowhere, drinking these until I fell off the tailgate. Okay. I, I have. Not necessarily with this beer, but yes. Um, now, one thing that I really like about that tire is what I call the barely sweetness. Right. It, there is a the malty sweet, but it's not, like we said, it's not a malt bomb. It's not a malt you don't liquor, have the, so it's no, no, not... No, no. It's not a lot of added sweetness to it at all. Um, it is just enough to make it enjoyable. You know, and at 5-2, I can still get shit done. Yes. Um, now, now that they're putting them in pint cans, and also the 12-pack cans, I can float the river with it because, well, if you've lived near the beach or the pool or the river, don't take glass. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. No, that that's you're not that guy. No, don't do that. That's not cool. Uh, and by the way, take your cans with you. Don't sink them in the lake or the river or something. Don't be that guy. Um, now, you're not that guy. You know you're five percent alcohol. This it's five two, so you can drink some beers. You can catch that buzz, but you can still maintain. Right, you're not going to get too drunk too quick. At least I just would. I'm not. I, I just like them enough to pound through them until I can't see anything. Have, have, have done. Uh-oh. I saved it. <laughs> I think the fact that there is a little bit of cleanness. Yes. Is very good. Um, there is a little bit of aftertaste. 
but the aftertaste is pleasant. Right. It's not an unpleasant aftertaste. Um, to me, the, the aftertaste is what you expect from this color. It is a slightly... Right. Okay. It's what I, it's the tingle I expect from it, an amber. Yeah, but, all right, you get that tingle, but I say you get hard crust bread. Oh, right. Okay, which uh, we both have cooking backgrounds. Um, that I think that's more the yeasty blue. Yeah, but that's the thing, that, that crusty bread, uh, it's a positive thing for me. It's a, it's tasty. It, it has that full f flavor and feeling, but it makes me want to have another drink. So I have another drink. I have. I'm running low. I, I'm, we're gonna have to get to the end of the video before I kill it. So did you dig it? Wait, before we get to there, did you dig the video? If you did, hit me with a like. And if you're enjoying my content, I would love to have you as a subscriber. I do this three times a week. If you look down in the description, I'll put some things that I found out about this beer. You'll also find my links to social media, various things like that, and my merch link. Um, Have you had anything by New Belgium? Uh, Tell us what you liked. Yeah, is there, also, is there a beer you wanna see me review? Tell us down there in the comments. Let me know. I'll try to find it, we'll try to do it. Tag a friend or two so they get to see it. If you didn't like this, tag a bunch of enemies. He burped. I did. Um, so let's get to it. Did you dig the beer? I, I, I do. And I good. have for years. Mm -hmm. It's it's a quality beer. I think, unfortunately, it's been so good for so long that occasionally people kind of overlook it every now and then. Oh, Fat Tire is probably one of the most overlooked beers. I would say Fat it, Tire it, it is. It is one for of... great beers that get overlooked. I would say Fat Tire and the Sam Adams Lager oh, are dude. two of the best overlooked beers. Um, I've been preaching the Sam Adams um, vibe for a long time. I like, I like them both. Like... Their light beer is my favorite light beer, and I don't even like any light beers. <laughs> but Sam Adams Light, not a bad beer. <laughs> no. Okay, would you have another? Um, I have and yeah. I will. Yeah, I probably will have uh, many more. Okay. Does it have seekability? Here's the one spot that is kind of waffly. Seekability, it's fat tire now. And they have a brewery in Colorado and in North Carolina. For the vast majority of the United States, you can get Fat Tire at the convenience store. It's getting to be grocery store easy Walmart. to find. And I'm not saying that negatively. I'm saying that positively. I'm really happy with that. Uh, it's easier for me to find. Uh, now, pick six worthy. That's Absolutely. Not... For real. Now you can get them in pint. You... Do they do the singles? No, I thought the, all they got was six packs and stuff. No, this was a single. Oh, wow. I bought this at a convenience store. Dude, throw that in a six-pack. I mean, For real. you can get this at a it's convenience six. store. You can get a six-pack. I get two or three. I would buy a six-pack of that. Yeah. Um, just go ahead and buy a six-pack. Do yourself a favor. Yeah. It's good okay. to have around. Now, my new thing that I've added, would you recommend this to a friend? Absolutely. I think this is I think this is a beer that I could I can recommend to just about anybody. Right. Any Beer appreciator. You know what? This is one of the I beers that, that I think I could recommend to people that aren't even that big into beers. Right, because it's not overpowering in any um, in any degree. It is still full flavored. You get the full profile. It even does the cool little. Uh, amber yeast mix thing that's really neat so it, it, it's a, it, this is a good good beer yeah um so let's get it one to ten i'm seven. seven after i fall off the tailgate drunk i'll probably turn it up to an eight but well, right now i'm at a seven until that happens okay i'm at tune a, in <laughs> <laughs> i'm at an eight on this one because as if you are Somebody that watches the videos, you know that, as I've said many times, that beer is not just the beer. It is the memories. It is the people. It is the experience. Yeah. And 
I drove from Florida to California in the early 2000s when you could not get Fat Tire on the East Coast and we had it. And I've had many times since then, now on the Eastern, more we're in Tennessee, I can get it. And I've had, you know, so many good times and it's a good beer and it's a good price. It is. And that's why it gets an eight from me. Thank because you. there's so many happy moments. Happy moments. And that's what's important. I will drink another one of these probably in the next week. Happy moments. That's, happy little moments. Dude. Beer is part of the beautiful things in your life. Every time you, it's a happy little moment. <laughs> well, there you have it. Until your next beer adventure. Cheers. Cheers.